Bat was a nickname for a boy. Bat had one older sister named Baby. Bat's name was Bixby Alexander Tan. Bat hates cheese and leftovers. Bat liked lemon and vanilla yogurt. Bat yelled at his sister for eating all the lemon and vanilla yogurt. Bat flaps his wings when he is excited. Bat's sister takes care for him after school. Bat went to his room after he had snack. Bat's favorite place in the world is his room. No one messed up his room. Bat had a slide out his door that said, please knock. Bat, Bat's mom messed up his drawers. His sister is neater than him. Bat loved the her miscellaneous. Bat is good to be a veterinarian. Mom didn't come home on time. There was no vanilla yogurt at home. Bat got angry because Mom didn't go to the grocery store. Bat did not have any money or a car. When Bat talked to JD, he had to stay 12 inches away from her. Mom did not go to the grocery store because of a baby animal. Then Mom was talking about a math test and Bat got angry. Bat's mom explained that the baby animal was an earth or fit. Bat's mom explained that the baby's mom died. Bat figured out the animal was a skunk. They had small skunk on Arizona Street. When the skunk in one month, they were taken to the Wild Animal Rescue Center. Bat wanted to hold the baby skunk and feed it too. Mom had to rub the baby's forehead. When the skunk is five months old, he is going to the wild. Jamie asked if the skunk can spray it. The stores do not sell skunk formula, so they use puppy formula. Mom gave the formula to the skunk. Pat notices that he didn't know a lot about skunk. The older skunks eat bugs, and plants. When Bat feeds the skunk, he did a messier job than Mom. Jamie's best friend was other before Bat was born. Bat said that he'll figure out a way to keep the skunk. Bat had to go to Dad's house from Friday to Monday. Lawrence was Bat's favorite vet at Mom's clinic. Bat school is 20. 20.3 miles away. Bat is in a private school. Next year, JD is going to junior high school. Two big kids were playing with the ball inside school. Bat hated it when someone rumbled. Bat had embarrassed his friend. Bat thinks Mr. Grayson is the best teacher for a lot of reasons. One is that he has the living class. Baby cakes like to eat apples and carrots. Everyone was allowed to see baby cakes, apples and carrots. Bat had missed the baby skunk. Bat did not want to play payday, but he had played. Bat said that it was going to be a long day. In my group, there were three people. Their names were Chelsea and Tavandeep. The thing that worked well was we found who did each job. We worked well because everyone did what they were doing good. We did rock, paper, scissors when we were fighting. Me and Tammy were fighting, but we solved the problem. We learned that working as a group is easier than doing it by yourself. When you are working in a group, you get more help. Bat's dad was going to pick him up for the weekend. Bat's dad picked him up first. 
Then he picked up Janie. Dad said that we should go to Cochrane after we pick up Janie. Dad thought it was a great idea. Dad's favorite coffee shop. Cochrane was Dad's favorite coffee shop. When they got there, Dad had spilled hot chocolate, hot chocolate on his shirt. Dad could not enjoy his drink because he was thinking about the stain on his t-shirt. In Dad's apartment, there was a pool and a workout room. Kids that are under 13 are not allowed to use the workout equipment. The skunk enclosure did not look like baby cake enclosure. Inside the skunk enclosure was ripped up t-shirt. That had got his hand and stuck it inside the skunk. And that wrapped up the skunk and the golden flag. Then they ate peanut butter sandwiches. That loved peanut butter sandwiches. But Bat could not take peanut butter to school because Israel was allergic. Bat and Jamie were thinking of a name for the skunk when they were eating. They named him Thor. Then Bat wanted to sleep with Thor. Mom kept saying that Bat could not sleep with Thor, but Bat was not listening. And Janie was wearing her favorite pajamas. When Janie wears these pajamas, Bat said that a group of unicorns is called the Blessed. After Bat kept on trying to make mom let him, him sleep with Thor. The skunk enclosure did not look like baby cake enclosure. Inside the skunk enclosure was ripped up t shirt Bat had got his hand and stuck it inside the cook. And Bat wrapped the skunk inside a fold of fabric. Then they ate peanut butter sandwich. Bat loved peanut butter sandwich, but Bat Jeannie were thinking of a name for the skunk. When they were eating, they had named him Thor. Then Bat wanted to sleep with Thor. Mom kept on saying that Bat could not sleep with Thor, but Bat was not listening. And Jeannie was wearing her favorite ch- pajamas. When Jeannie wore these pajamas, Bat said that a group of unicorns is called a blessing. After Bat kept trying to make to make mom let Bat sleep with Thor. Bat said that he'll sleep the skunk for me and pull and pee him. Mom said no, but m- mom said that he could come to the clinic tomorrow and help boy Thor. Bat was in his room. He was supposed to be asleep, but Bat was not sleeping. He was looking in his encyclopedia book. Bat had been looking in the S section. In there was a question. Was the in there were questions about skunks. Bat closed the book and put it back inside one page that said Doctor Jerry Jacob was a skunk, and Bat would like to meet him. Then it would be the next day. It was time for reason. Zero had stopped at stopped at Bat to death and said, do you want to play four squares outside? Bat did not want to talk to Mr. Bat wanted to talk to Mr. Grayson. Bat said to Israel, thank you, but I don't want to play. Okay, said Israel, and then left. Bat had told Mr. Grayson everything about Thor. Bat said to Mr. Grayson that he wants to keep Thor. Mr. Grayson said to make an email to Dr. Jerry Drago. Bat had made an email to him. At the end of the email, Bat said, please say that I can keep Thor. Thor was inside his enclosure. Bat took Thor out of the enclosure and put him inside the slinky. He was wiggling inside the slinky. Thor wanted milk. Thor ate dinner with them. They had spaghetti for dinner. When they were eating, they talked about Ezra being funny. Then Janie talked about her play. Then Bat wanted went to get puppy form. Mom told Bat to warm up the puppy formula before he gives it to Thor. Then a few days later, Bat thought 
thought he did something like Virgin, but Bat had done something bad. Bat had got Jadie's pajamas top out of the laundry basket and put it in stores and clothes. JD got very angry. Then she stomped to her room and slammed the door. Then Bat got the pajama top. Then then Bat said he he will wash Jenny pajama top. Okay, said Mom, I will teach you how. There was skunk time at school. He could be with Thor. Then Bat said he would make lots of things for skunk if there was skunk time. Then Bat tried, try. Then Bat tried, did, tried to make Mom let him stay home because every other Friday was coming up. When every other Friday came, Bat would have to leave Thor to look at and Bat did not want to. And Janie went to the candy shop after they ate breakfast. They rode to the candy shop. Mm-hmm. When they got there, they were in the front of the candy shop. Okay, then you did, that means you he didn't see was them. going so into go the breakfast the shop beside the candy shop. Then she asked, what are you doing here? Bat said that he came here to, to get candy at the candy shop. Then Bat left. They were walking to the candy shop. When they got the can, they got their bag drop his candy bag on the floor and went to the dress and before they went to the day, they watched baseball on TV. They were watching back with pretty Jenny's hair. Then Jenny looked at the bird and said it was not bad. Some days that had been the first one to wake up. Both Jane's mom was the first one to wake up. When Bat wakes up, he goes to Thor's enclosure and gets Thor. Then Bat gets the formula and warms it up and gives it to Thor. Then he, he gets Thor for me and puts Thor inside. Then he goes to the bed beside the window. Then Thor opens his eyes and Bat walks him over to see him. When they looked in Thor's eyes, when they looked in Thor's eyes, one was open, the other was not that open. His eyes were golden brown with flakes of green. Bob looked in Bat's eyes and kissed Bat on the floor. Bat went to school. Mr. Grayson said that Dr. Jerry Dragon had wrote a letter back to Bat that when he went to school. Bat wanted to read the letter, but Mr. Green said that he could read the letter at recess. Rude Bat was going to his desk. And they all said, that's too bad. Bat yelled, stop it, because Bat thought that Israel was making fun of him. Then it was time for recess. Bat went to Mr. Grayson's desk and said, can I read the letter now? Okay, said Mr. Wizard. You said, can I read the letter too? Okay, said Bat. Said. Okay, said Bat. Then they read the uh, letter. After they read the letter, Israel asked if asked Bat if he could come to Bat's house one day. Bat said he's gonna have to ask his mom. When he got home, he asked Mom if if Israel could come to our house one day. Mom said that she would call Israel home and ask if Israel could come on Saturday. Israel came over to Bat's house when they were at the door. Their parents introduced themselves. Before Israel came in the house, Bat asked if Israel liked to garden. 
Israel said, I'm not sure. Then Israel came inside. Israel asked if he could hold Thor. Bat was not sure if he could give Thor to Israel. So he looked at Israel's eye and hand. Then Bat gave Thor to Israel. And then put a door in his enclosure. Bat asked if Israel wanted to see him. Okay, said Israel. And they went to Bat's room, then they played in the room. And Bat was happy.